Hey gang, it's Doug with Doug's Timeshare Travels. Today we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at Hilton Grand Vacation Club Alara. We're going to be taking a tour of the two bedroom uh, master suite of a four bedroom lockout on the west end of the building. So stick around, we'll take a look real quick. So we were assigned unit 5534. This is on the uh, 55th floor. As you walk in, you'll notice the room has kind of a pinkish red tinge to it. That's because on the west end of the building, you have the uh, um, red wing that juts out from the building. And for uh, the unit, that's kind of a little walkway that you can walk out onto. There's a table there, dining room table, seating for six. And then you have a little kitchen bar there where you could seat three more people. This is a uh, fully stocked kitchen. I'm going to see if I can uh, find the light here to get a little more light in the room. There we go. And as you can see on the countertop, it has all the small appliances you would need. They provide a little bit of coffee. So you have a little coffee service. There is a cooktop. There is no uh, oven in this unit. We find the microwave comes in handy for uh, reheating leftovers. Otherwise, I don't think we've ever cooked anything in a kitchen in Las Vegas uh, since we started going there in 1998. This one, I believe, was a convection oven. We really didn't use it much this day. If you prefer to cook in the unit, timeshares have uh, all the utensils, bowls that you could possibly want. I suppose cooking breakfast would be an option, but again, we pretty much always go out to eat. There is a dishwasher. About the only thing that we ever washed in the dishwasher was our used glasses. And it has a really nice side-by-side -side refrigerator. It's a decent sized living room, although because it's on the end, it's a little odd shape. They have a wet bar. Uh, about the only thing we used that wet bar for was to charge our electronic devices. There's quite a bit of storage, and honestly, with a full kitchen, this seems out of place. <coughs> Lots of uh, drawer space. For us, it was mostly unused storage space. Then you have uh, the switch there for the, um, the shades to come down. These windows have uh, floor to ceiling shades, so the room can get pretty dark. Being on the, uh, having the western view, you have a really nice view of the Las Vegas Strip. And then as I mentioned, you have this walkway that uh, walks out into the wing off the building. Because the uh, glass is red, it gives everything that red hue. Originally, we thought this would be kind of a nice feature. And it's interesting, but I would rather it not have the red glass. They do have that uh, round, large round chair at the end where you can sit with the table and have a drink at night and just kind of enjoy the uh, looking out at the uh, strip. I found that uh, chair to be horribly uh, uncomfortable, to be honest with you. And for those of you wondering, no, I did not put a black light on it. I did not even want to know. So from here, you do get a panoramic view looking south, directly across, then you can look all the way north. The 
and walking back towards the living room. You can see you have a sectional couch there that does fold out into a queen size sofa sleeper. You have the uh, large television. And up there you see a projector. So if you want to, you can uh, drop the shades down and it will project onto that section of the window. And so you'll have an exceptionally large uh, television viewing area. They have a nice little workspace over here, a little, uh, little table and a chair. And it also has the electrical outlets and uh, USB ports there. So made a nice little uh, work area. <coughs> then just down around the corner here, uh, we have the uh, washer and dryer in a closet. So a nice uh, stackable Samsung washer and dryer. We like to pack light, so we generally do laundry every day, every other day. The best feature of this unit is the master bedroom. With these floor to ceiling windows, it's a corner unit and you get some magnificent views out to the strip. Again, those windows have shades. You can pull the shades down. They're electric, electronic shades. There's also a uh, walk-in closet with the safe. The bed has nice little storage nooks underneath it, and you can fit a uh, regular size suitcase under there. A nightstand there with uh, four drawers, plenty of storage for us really. And there are two chairs here. These I found much more comfortable with the table between them. So if we really wanted to sit and look out at the strip, this is where we would sit and look out at the strip not at the end of the uh, little walkway. Provided wonderful views at night. As you can see, you can see all the way south down to the airport. And there in the corner, you have a jacuzzi tub that butts right up against the windows. The tub is large enough for two people. And in the master bath, we have a dual vanity. And you have a large walk-in shower. And of course the shower has uh, dual shower heads. You have the multi-use uh, shampoo, soap, and conditioner. Seems everybody's going to that these days. And you have the, uh, uh, this unit actually comes with a bidet as well as a toilet. It has this very odd little closet here. I'm not 100% sure what you're going to use that for. But truly one of the most spectacular timeshare bedrooms 
that uh, I've ever seen anywhere. As I mentioned, this is a two bedroom unit. So the second bedroom, not nearly as spectacular, but still very nice. King size bed. Storage space underneath the bed. There's a little nightstand on either side of the bed. Little desktop with four drawers. Has its own TV, of course. And the floor to ceiling windows still offer a really spectacular view out to the south end of the strip. And from this bedroom, uh, if you are into plane spotting or watching the airport, you actually have a nice view of the airport. That area is where uh, there is a the travel lodge used to be in that area. Uh, it is a planned new uh, resort via high rise tower and it'll actually block some of the view. And then there's the view back to the um, some of the MGM and the uh, airport. The small building down there is one of the first time shares in Las Vegas. Uh, that's called the Carriage House. Just to the right of it is Marriott's Grand Chateau. That's another timeshare. And just outside of this bedroom, well, again, there's the shades. You can put the shades up and down. And there's a small closet there. And then just outside the bedroom, you have the uh, second bathroom. This is a single vanity. Again, a large uh, walk-in shower. And this one has a uh, single uh, shower head. multi-use uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash again. Has a lighted makeup mirror there. And then the uh, toilet has the um, little slider door here that would provide a little bit of privacy. So there you have the uh, walking tour of a uh, two-bedroom, um, dedicated two-bedroom unit at Alara. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button uh, that you'll find below. I uh, hope you found the tour enjoyable. Uh, this is probably one of the best units in Las Vegas for timeshares.